Greetings, brothers and sisters. I have some more Geomatra revelations to share. This first one here is one from a pre another video I've already done, okay? But it complements this video, all right? God, the creator of Geomatra Coded Life, Triple Eight Hebrew Cipher. All right, this is the new one. Yahweh Creator God Matrix 2222 Hebrew Cipher. Okay, so let me explain this. Now, within the Yahweh Creator God Matrix, there are sub-matrixes of reality, okay? For example, you know, there is a, there's Yahweh Matrix, okay, which is the full grand matrix reality of all existence and reality, okay? And, you know, I... Uh, Within all that is obviously like, you know, there's other uh, matrices as far as like sub matrices like of delusion um, and realities. OK, so there is a satanic matrix as well. That's, you know, a sub matrix of reality. OK, and so the Yahweh creator God matrix. OK, to come into that reality. All right. And come out of satanic matrix delusion. OK. Just so that people understand the, you know, the difference here. Okay. Because there's the Babylon matrix and then there's the Yahweh creator God matrix. Okay. But, you know, you, you got to, you got to uh, believe in Christ and be born again and repent to come out of the uh, satanic ma matrix uh, Babylon delusion and get into the Yahweh creator God matrix of the higher reality and perspective. Okay. So, You've got, I want to make a point about the atheist geomatria decoders that, you know, they say that, you know, the Jesuits are scripting all the Bible prophecy or this, this, and that, okay? Well, if that is the case, uh, they can know that all day long and they still can't escape the reality of Yahweh Creator God Matrix, okay? Um, if they could, they've already be out of it, okay? And they can't because... You, you can't escape God's sovereignty, okay? So, and however God decides to have his prophecy fulfilled, that's up to God. And he uses all sorts of different things. And that's the bigger perspective that people can't see. And then it becomes a half-truth. Because they don't understand how this all plays into the larger um, aspect of God's plan and his will. His word is going to be fulfilled, all right? And... Uh, everything is subject to, to that. All right. So for in order to God to be sovereign, his word be true, everything he says has to come to pass. All right. To every little tiny, tiniest detail. And I've looked at the code, uh, all these Jumatra codes. And the conclusion I've come to, and people can choose to believe something else, but all I can do is uh, give my best witness and testimony of my life experience and everything, you know, that God has walked me through, okay? So according to the codes, if you don't repent, believe in Jesus Christ, repent, become born again, then you're going to get God's judgment. And that's, there's, the, none of these people have a way to escape this. And they have no real solution to escape any of this. And they can't because they're still subject to God's sovereignty. Okay? So Halle Selassie judges the wicked is 2222. Or it's with this title, King Halle Selassie I Judges the Wicked, wicked is 2222. See, they have no solution, no way to be able to escape that. All right? Except for repenting. All right? And becoming born again. All right? All right. So, Yahweh, a majestic God, 2222 Hebrew cipher. Let's go back here. Majestic. Having or showing impressive beauty or dignity. Synonyms, exalted, great, awesome, elevated, sublime. Okay, all these describe the Yahweh God, okay? Yahweh manifest reality, two, uh, two, two, two. All right, and he is, uh, God is responsible for all reality, okay? And there's no escaping the reality of God, no matter how hard people try. All right, I hope all you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.